say I also I have all this data, right? I have this data, I've got numbers in my data. I want to do like a greater than, right? So I'm gonna make a few more things. Thing feature. This I created in a another video, which was talking about how to filter by different inputs. I'm using it in this video to talk about how to filter by greater than and less than. You, if you're interested, you can take a look at my other videos. They'll be in this playlist as well. Um, but I'm just adding these so I can do greater than, less than a little bit easier. So I just added a few more things. These are things that just have the name of the thing and attribute of the color of it, which is a drop down and then a number here. So essentially what I want to be able to do is pull a list of everything that would be greater than or less than something, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to here. And right now I have this set up for the filtering I have here because I was doing a two filter. Um, example in my last video. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to remove that condition. I'm going to go ahead and make a new condition. So say I want to be able to do this kind of filter here. So the filter I want to do now is I want to do a greater than or less than a number. So let's just do a quick example of a number. Um, content should be a integer. Integer basically just means it's going to be a number. Um, additional format. All right. When so this is called input B. Okay. When do, 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 input B's value is not empty, property that's going to change is the data source. Data source. Do a search or come on. Two filter thing. Okay. So we're going to do a search for two filter things, which is what we called all of the things inside this group. So the things we're creating up here that have a name, a color, and a number, they're called two filter, two filler things. I forgot the T in filter. Um, and the tribute I'm caring about right now is the number. And I want greater than or less than, right? So depending on what I want to do. So I'm going to do a quick example of greater than. I want everything greater than. Now it's really important to understand greater than and greater than equal to, right? So if I do greater than, it's going to be, and I do put a one in, it's not going to return everything with a one, right? If I do greater than and equal to, it'll give me one and everything above one. If I do greater than, it will give me 1.1 1 .1 and above one and above that. So I'm going to do greater than. And I'm going to do input B it's value. All right. So now what this should do, oops, just too pretty here, is change this page. Now, if I put a one in here, all these ones in this group should disappear. So there's one, two, three, four of them. There's the all four of these things are going to leave this group when I put a one in here. Oh, no, all of them are gone. What did we do wrong? So we are searching for number numbers greater than this value. Why didn't it save that? That's weird. Where's greater than input B's value? Great. Close. No, that's wrong. Started changing on the regular one. Ignore the last 10 seconds. There we go. That should be good because it should be the number Oh, I did it wrong. Number is less than, right? So number, see it says less than. I reversed it. So we want number greater than. Okay. 
That's why I messed it up. Very important to make sure you're aiming these in the right direction. Now it did it right. So let me show you how I did that wrong. This needs to be open, right? So I want greater than, meaning this number here, the number we're looking for is bigger than B's value, which is this is B, right? So input B is here. This value would be smaller because it's on the littler side of this, and this number we're pulling is bigger, right? So that's how we're going to use that. If I do the equal to, we can pull it with the 1. It's not going to change my table at all. But if I do a 2, it'll give me all the 2s. If I do a 2.1, I did integer, so it won't give me, let me know, else we do full numbers. But if I do a 3, we lose that. All right, I was using whole numbers. So that's how to kind of use that a little bit. Um, I find it really helpful depending on what you're trying to do. Um, I also find it helpful to um, utilize it in a different kind of format here. So what I'll do is I will make a drop down and it will be greater than and less than. And then I'll change the conditional on this group. Let's remove this condition. So when, all right, so for a repeating group, when drop down greater than less trans value is greater than, we'll change the data source to be. Do a search for numbers greater than input B's value, okay? And then if we do another condition, we would do when drop down greater less is value is less than Right, meaning that we clicked on this, went to less than. Data source, do a search. Two data filler thing. Number is less than. Input B's value. I'll show you what this how this one works now. So what I'm doing with this now is I'm gonna use the number 10. Number 10 will work out really well for this. So I use number 10 here. It's not doing anything now because this box essentially doesn't do anything in the equation, right? It used to affect this, this, this group here, this repeating group used to be affected when I typed in here. I can type anything I want in here. This group's not affected anymore because now the conditionals are all based on this, right? So I do greater than, it's only going to show me everything greater than 10. And I do less than, it's going to show me all the ones less than 10. So those are interesting ways just to be able to um, filter repeating groups um, by greater than, less than. I like this format for inside of apps. I think it looks a lot cleaner um, than trying to make one that's just one way or the other. Plus, it makes it simple for users to have a quick drop down. Makes it nice and easy. Um, hope that was useful for you. Hope that helped. Um, hope you have a great day. And uh, give us a thumbs up if it was helpful. Um, go follow or subscribe, um, whatever the button's called, and uh, hope to see you in uh, future videos. Have a great day.